When you add new tags to a Google Tag Manager container, you absolutely must test those changes. Otherwise, you might end up in a situation where you are not collecting any data or you are getting it incorrectly. In this video, I will explain how to test your tags with Google Tag Manager's preview mode. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. Testing is a crucial part of every Google Tag Manager setup. Even till this day, I don't trust myself with changes. I never publish them blindly and I always test them. In this video, I will show you how to use GTM's preview and debug mode so that you could be more confident with your setup. Also, this is very important. Make sure that your Google Tag Manager container has already at least one version published. If not, click the submit button in the top right corner now and then hit publish. This video is a part of video series called Google Tag Manager for Beginners. So if this is your first video that you're watching, I highly recommend to check the description of this tutorial and start from the very first lesson instead. All right, so let's dive in. When you make some changes in Google Tag Manager container, they do not go live until you publish your container. But before you do that, it is absolutely necessary for you to test everything with the preview mode. So when you add some changes, in our case, that is GA4 configuration tag, you should click the preview button right here. Then enter the URL and click start. If you have installed Google Tag Assistant extension, the window with your browser will be opened in a new tab. So this is much more convenient. Also, what is really cool is that if you have, let's say, five pages opened of the same website, for example, here, here, and here, we have like four different tabs. What you will notice is that the icon right here on every tab is different. Therefore, it will be much easier for you to identify that right here, but more on that a bit later. And now I have the preview mode right here. Actually, let me just quickly clear everything. Then I will refresh the page once again. And now I have enabled the preview mode. First of all, there are two tabs or maybe one tab and one window in your case. This is the preview mode, like the debugger view. And here is your website with the widget that says connected. So if you want the preview mode to work, this must say connected and this must say connected. And also you should see the word connected right here. So this means that both windows are connected with each other and we will be able to see how things are happening and like what is happening on the website and what Google Tag Manager preview mode is able to see. Because what you will see right here is basically what you can use in Google Tag Manager. So the preview mode can be split into several parts. The first one is the header and here we can see various Google Tag Manager containers and Google Analytics 4 properties and maybe some other things that are related to Google Ads in this header right here. So if, for example, you have multiple containers on the same page, which is technically possible, you can see them right here and you can switch between them. Of course, at the moment, I have only one Google Tag Manager container and from that container, the Google Analytics 4 is activated right here. Right now, we will focus only on Google Tag Manager container. Then on the left side, we see the event stream. Now, this is the event stream of Google Tag Manager. This is what is happening in a thing called data layer and more on that a bit later. If you want to fire your tag on a certain interaction on a page, let's say on a click or on a form submission, first of all, that submission or that click or that whatever interaction must appear right here. And right here, we see the main section that is split into four parts, tags, variables, data layer, and errors. So if we click, let's say on the first event right here, which is container loaded, you will see that on this event, this tag has fired. And if we click other event, which is DOM ready or window loaded, you will see that the tag is now in this section tags not fired. Now, first of all, you might be wondering what is container loaded, DOM ready and window loaded. So container loaded is the earliest moment when Google Tag Magic container was loaded on that particular page. This is an equivalent to the trigger all pages. So every time you set the tag to fire on all pages, this in other words means all container loaded events. Then we have two other page load phases. We can call them like that. So this is the earliest moment when the page has loaded. DOM ready is the moment when 
website elements are rendered by the browser. So this means that the elements most likely become visible on the browser's window, at least in many cases. And then we have window loaded. Window loaded is the final step of the page loading process. And it means that all page resources, this means content, images, and also various scripts have finalized loading. So if you are instructed to fire a tag only when the page has completely loaded, window loaded event is exactly what you need. So let's go back to checking our GA4 configuration tag. We have configured that tag to fire on all pages. In other words, all container loaded events. So if we go to the preview mode right here and click on container loaded, you will see that the tag has indeed fired and its status is succeeded. This is a good sign. Also, you can click on this tag and see what kind of information was activated. We see that this is the measurement ID and that the request was sent to Google Analytics and that Google Analytics 4 is properly activated. So right now, all you need to know is that the preview mode is the way how you can check whether your tags are firing exactly when you expect them to. And the way how you should do that is that you should click the event on which you expect the tag to fire and see whether that tag has actually fired. So in our case, all pages is all container loaded events. Therefore, we clicked on that event and we see that the tag has fired. If we click DOM ready, the tag did not fire. Window loaded, the tag did not fire. And if we had some click events right here, we would see that if we click those events, you would not find that tag among tags fired. And this configuration tag would still be as not fired. Also, if you want, you can do some additional check. For example, well, we have configured the tag to fire on all pages. So why don't we go from the home page to let's say catalog page, a new page has loaded and you will see that a new page load is right here because this is the first page load of the home page. And this is the second page load of the catalog page, or in other words, product list page. And right here we see a new container loaded event. So this means that the page has started loading, then elements were rendered on the page and then all the other scripts have loaded as well. And on this event, I mean, container loaded, you see that the tag has fired once again. And if we go to the summary, you will see that the tag, I mean, the configuration tag has fired two times in total. If you click it, you will even see on which exact events it fired. It fired on the first container loaded right here. And it also fired on a fifth event in this stream, which is also container loaded. Even though we see that our Google Analytics 4 tag has fired properly, that is not the end of the story. We still need to make sure that the data has actually been received properly by Google Analytics 4. And we can do that by going to Google Analytics, then scrolling to the bottom of the left sidebar. You can actually expand it and you will see the section called debug view. Now this is where can we check the incoming data and see whether everything is working properly. So click debug view. And here, first of all, you should see your device right here. And then you should see some events right here. The debug view in Google Analytics 4 is completely different thing and functionality compared to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager preview mode is responsible for checking all of the tags that are firing in your container. Maybe you have some Facebook pixel tags or Google ads tags or something else. With Google Tag Manager preview and debug mode, you would be able to see what is happening in your container. Now, the debug view of Google Analytics 4 is responsible for showing only the data that is coming into Google Analytics 4. So let's take a quick overview of the debug view right here. When you go to the debug view, of course, you should first refresh the page of the website. I mean, of your website where you want to install Google Analytics 4. Then you check whether on that latest page view, the tag has fired and we see that it indeed has. Then we go to the debug view and you will see the page view event. So this was automatically sent by the configuration tag because we have enabled that checkbox right here. I'm talking about this checkbox. And then additionally, your configuration tag might send some additional data like user engagement. If you have enabled the enhanced measurement, you might find some scroll events or maybe something else. For example, if I scrolled down right here, then we should eventually see a scroll event appear right here. Now there is still some delay between the event actually happening on your website and seeing it right here, but that happens fairly quickly. So if you see your device and your events happening right here, that is a good sign. In fact, we can click on the page view event and we see what kind of parameters were sent to Google Analytics for. 
For example, if we click on page location, you will see that this is the URL where I am right now. The reason why we are seeing this data in the debug view, because, well, it is not displayed always, is because we have enabled the preview mode right here. So when the preview mode is enabled and you are checking your GA4 implementation, Google Tag Manager adds some additional parameter to all the requests that are coming to Google Analytics 4. And because of that parameter, the data is available in the debug view right here. Because debug view is designed to see only the data that is coming with that debug mode parameter enabled. So if you have, let's say, 500 people right now browsing your website, only those people will be displayed right here who have the debug mode enabled. So it might be, you know, the debug mode of Google Tag Manager enabled. Also, there are some additional ways how the data can be enabled in the debug view. If you want to learn more, I will post some additional resources below the video. But the main takeaway right now is that even if you see that the tag has fired in Google Tag Manager preview mode, that still does not mean that everything was properly activated. You always have to check the final destination. And in this case, it is the debug view of Google Analytics 4. If you are working with some other tool that also offers some real-time debugging capabilities, you should then go to that tool and test whether the data that is being sent from Google Tag Manager and from that certain tag, that it is displayed in the real-time reports of that particular tool. For example, Facebook Pixel also has some event testing capabilities. Now, if you are dealing with the tool that does not have the real-time reports, well, then you will have to you know, activate the tag, check how it is working, and then after a while, maybe, you know, after several hours, maybe after a day or so, go to the standard reports of that particular tool and check if that tool is displaying your data properly, and then publish the container. But I will talk more about publishing the container in the upcoming lessons. Okay, then I also would like to mention some additional tips that are quite useful when working with the preview mode. So if you are navigating in one tab of the preview mode, and let's say that I am holding right now the control key, and then I click, let's say, subscribe and contact, and I open them in new tabs. You will see that the preview mode is enabled because the fav icons right here, they are using the preview modes, call it icon or whatever. But like if I was working between all these three tabs, it would be quite challenging for me to quickly identify which page view is which. Now, if you have installed the Tag Assistant extension in your Chrome browser, you will notice that that extension is adding some additional icon right here. And you will see that every tab has a different icon. And that very same icon is visible right here. So you can quickly identify that this data is coming from this particular page because this is a red ring right here and right here. Now, this is a green circle. And this means that I'm working with this page. So this is quite convenient. And then another thing that is super crucial, especially for me uh, when I'm helping other people, is that if you get stuck somewhere with your Google Tag Manager implementation and you don't know what is going on and you need help, then you should definitely share the preview mode with that other person who's trying to help you. So for example, if you need my help, instead of just saying something like, hey, my GTM is not working, which is like super vague and totally unclear, Instead, you could briefly describe or actually in great detail describe your situation and together with that request, you should include the link to your preview mode. That way, I will be able to see what is happening in your preview mode, how your tags are firing, but I will not be able to edit anything or, you know, break something in your container. So you're still safe. So speaking of sharing the preview mode, you enable the preview mode right here. Then you go right here, click on these three dots and click share. Now, this is very important. By default, this preview mode enables only the preview of the global site tag. In other words, you will just be able to see what kind of requests are sent to Google Analytics, but I won't be able to see other tags in your Google Tag Manager container. That is why you should click on this drop down and select global site tag and the ID of your container. Now, this will change the URL of your shareable debug link. And then when you select your correct Google Tag Manager container, select this URL, click copy or just copy link, and then include that in your request, uh, you know, where you're asking for help or just, you know, forward this link to someone who's trying to help you. So this is very important because when you need some help with Google Tag Manager, you need to keep in mind that Google Tag Manager is quite complex and literally like million things can go wrong. So if you want help, 
you have to be cooperative and you have to provide as much information as possible. And the preview modes link is one of those essential things that you have to provide. So when you test your configuration and you make sure that your tags are firing when they are supposed to, now it's time to publish your changes. And we will do that in the upcoming lesson. And that's how you should use Google Tag Manager's preview mode to test your changes. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below the video. Now, let's go to the next lesson in this video series and you will find the link to it below this video. If you found this useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.